Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Xi'an's city wall. The city wall of Xi'an is an imposing site, and of the city's historical sites, one of the best. There are several places you can get onto the wall, but here at the south gate is most popular. Okay, hi everyone. We're on the uh, city wall of Xi'an today. We're gonna have a bike around. It's definitely the best way to get around this wall. Uh, walking it would take a long time. If you're visiting Xi'an, I'd say it's a must do thing to come on the wall and ride a bike around it. Um, most people come here obviously for the terracotta warriors, which are also worth a visit, of course. Um, but the city wall, it's, it's the first thing you see when you come into the city. If you come onto the south gate, that's definitely the busiest place on the whole wall. Um, and certainly, the further you get around uh, to, the, to, to the north particularly, you'll have it all to yourself. It's a really, really quiet part of town. Um, again, a nice way to get away from the hustle and bustle that is central Xi'an. The southern wall is a busy spot, full of tourists selfieing, English people videoing, wedding photos being taken, and people blowing bubbles. But once you leave in either direction, you soon find yourself alone and able to get a sense of the city wall's scale and majesty. The South Gate, or Yongning Men as it's called in Chinese, is the largest of the gates around the wall, and historically, as with all ancient city walls in China, the primary entrance to the city. Look at these bad boys. Brand new bikes. I'll show you my bike. Seen better days. It costs 45 renminbi to get on the wall and a further 45 renminbi to hire a bike. You need to drop a deposit of 100 for your bike or tandem and this gives you three hours, which is more than enough time. Top tip if you visit the wall, head two gates west of the south gate to Hangguan Gate. There's a small museum inside the wall itself. Unfortunately, it was closed when I made this particular video, but it is definitely worth a look, especially if you're a history geek just like me. The wall was built in the Ming Dynasty in 1370 and has had many renovations. It's 14 kilometers around and 12 meters high, but despite this immense size, it pales in comparison to the Tang Dynasty wall, roughly the 7th to the 9th century, when the wall was over seven times larger than the one you see today. So just behind me, this is An Dingmen, or the West Gate. Basically, Xi'an's city wall is um, like a big, big rectangle, and the four main gates on it, the north, south, east, and west, were originally the four main entrances to the city. There are 13 gates around the wall, one for each of the 13 dynasties, Xi'an or Chang'an as it was historically known, was capital of China. All of the gates have their own stories and are worth exploring. These, along with the many watchtowers, could potentially keep you up here all day. From up on top, the difference between the endless skyscrapers outside the wall and the low-rise inner wall is clear. From the wall, you can also get a good view of the other famous places in the city, such as the Bell Tower and Guangren Temple, the only Tibetan Buddhist temple in the whole province. The city wall of Xi'an should be on everyone's itinerary when visiting the city. It's a true China experience, and I guess with that, there's only one thing left to say. Thanks a lot for watching. More videos on the way. Until next time. See you later.